When that dismissal bell rings and we're all let out to go to our next class, you all know how it is. Those groups of people that are always huddling around in the hallway and not letting anyone else through. And those couples that are yearning for an extra minute for each other when they know that they'll see each other in just 45 minutes. And not to mention those groups of people that are always on their phone jamming out to that new album that just dropped. Have y'all heard the new Harry Styles song that just dropped? I know I did, but all jokes and songs aside, we've all been there before and we've also all contributed to these issues. And so while we may find them really annoying, we've implemented a new way for us to make it easy to remember these rules. Okay guys, first off, don't go out in the middle of the hallways of this group and just start talking. It's simple. Walk and talk. We want you to keep moving as you're talking. Now, if you hear a teacher say, walk and talk, Walk and talk. That just means that she wants you to continue with whatever you're doing while you're going to your next class. Now, if we all actually stay to the right side of the hallway, this will make things running a heck of a lot smoother as you go to your next class. Secondly, couples, I promise you'll see them again soon. Teachers and principals have said that holding hands and a quick hug in the hallway is acceptable PDA. Anything else you may hear a teacher say. Hug and dash. Let's be respectful and keep our hallways PDA free. The next expectation is fashion fail. We all know what is and isn't in dress code and so when you see a teacher walk up to you and say, fashion fail, then just do your best to get into dress code and if you don't have any clothes in that moment, then just follow the teacher's directions. Another expectation we have is no profanity. In our society, schools, churches, and courthouses are perfect examples where no one uses profanity. And our teachers will have a unique way of addressing the situation when they see it. Dude, what the f***? Where the f*** were you last night? Rephrase, please. And remember, students from Summon Lake come from a variety of communities who may be offended if they hear their DTs being used in profanity. So next time, refrain from using any god, prophet, or religious figure. Just remember that if you lose in your hallways and you hear a teacher saying rephrase, just keep our hallways clean. It's Texas. It's really hot outside and really cold in the school. And though cozy hoodies are a perfect remedy for chilly classrooms, hoods, hats, and beanies are not allowed in school. If you're seen walking by a principal wearing a hood or hat or a beanie, they might say, Hey, hoods down. Please be respectful and just take it off. Lastly, stay classy is a catch-all phrase that reminds us to take the high road by doing things such as hey. Oh, hey, such as not yelling, or opening doors for each other. Hey Owen, stay classy. So just remember, stay classy Seven Lakes. Okay, so let's go over the one-liners that we went over today. First off, walk and talk. Hug and dash, fashion fail, rephrase, hoods, hoods down. down, and lastly, stay classy, family.